Hey everybody, and welcome to the Morpheus Drop Tune giveaway video and demonstration. So I'm going to demonstrate this pedal in just a second, but first I'm going to tell you how to enter the giveaway. There's only a couple things that you've got to do. First is you need to subscribe to both of my YouTube channels. The Guitar Lessons 365, which you're watching right now, just click the subscribe button and when you do you'll be prompted to subscribe to the song lesson channel as well where I post the song lessons for this channel. So that's, that channel's name is Guitar Lessons 365 Song. If you're already subscribed to my channel all you gotta do is go to my, uh, go to my channel and you'll see the link for the song lesson channel there. Okay so just subscribe to the YouTube channels and you need to be a subscriber at guitarlessons365.com Okay, that's the main site. The link is also in uh, the channel sidebar uh, of, for this channel that you're watching and in the description of this video. When you have um, subscribed there, there's two different kinds of subscriptions. There's free and premium. You can do free, you can do premium. The premium is a few bucks a month and you get to see all the premium song lessons and stuff. But you don't have to do that. You can just do this regular free lesson. Premium will help support the site and keep these lessons coming and these giveaways coming. Uh, but no purchase necessary at all. So just become a subscriber, any type of subscriber at the site. And there, when you're subscribed to YouTube and the site, just come back here and post a comment on this video. That's all you have to do. Your comment is going to be your entry into the giveaway. And I will notify all the winners on September the 16th because we're not only going to have this is a grand prize the first prize second prize winner is going to get to choose the DVD of their choice from all the DVD selection at guitarlessons365.com plus they'll get a one month premium subscription and the third place um, winner is going to receive a one month premium subscription to the site okay so let's get on to the demo and this is a really cool pedal and Good luck everybody, send this video to all your friends and let's see how it goes, okay? Bye bye. Okay, so let's get right into the demo of this pedal here. The Morpheus Drop Tune pedal is not a pitch shifting pedal. It is purely, it is made to take a standard tune or a, uh, or a regularly tuned guitar and extend its range lower down in the tuning range so without having to use big thick strings or um, really loose feeling strings. You can use your own guitar set up the way you want it to play and you can have your guitar sound like it's a half step down or a whole step down or um, three half steps or four half steps all the way down to seven half steps down. So what we have here is we have the on off button which engages the effect so when it's on uh, when it's off there's nothing's really lit up when it's on, the effect light comes on and this toggle switch comes on and I'll explain that in a second. And we have our intervals right here. So right now, you probably can't see it too well, there's a red light, a red number one in the middle of this musical note. And that tells me now that the effect is on, it's taking my original signal and lowering it one half step. Okay, so that's great for playing all the Jimi Hendrix and Eddie Van Halen and the Led Zeppelin, when they, they all tune down, they, they favor that tuning a lot. Uh, your Steve Ray Vaughan, and you can just hit a button, you can sound like that, you can play along with the recordings even with a standard tuned guitar. Then we can hit down again, and now it moves over to the next interval, now our guitar is going to sound like it's a whole step lower than it actually is. Another one, three half steps, four, five, six, and seven. And then after the seventh, we have two more here. One is it takes your signal in an exact octave beneath. And then the last one, it has that octave beneath signal as well as your original signal. So it creates a really cool effect. All right, so let's listen to this. I'm going to play the same riff for all these. First of all, I'm going to turn the effect off. And we're going to play a nice simple riff here. And we're going to hear the differences between them. So here we go. <laughs> So it's just a basic, I got my Strat just going straight into a distortion sound. Now I'm going to engage the effect. I'm going to turn on the button and now when this is, lights up, you can tell now it's in effect. And I have the one lit up so that now the tone is going to sound a, a half step lower. Alright, 
Let's do, let's go one further. Let's go down a whole step lower. All right, three half steps. Now let me go to the original real quick so you can hear the original again. And engage the effect and the effect and right now it is set up for three half steps lower. All right, we can go four. All right, it's really fun to play with. The one thing that you got to get used to when you're playing with it is, um, you know, you're sometimes used to feeling, a, when you have a lower tuning, you feel those big strings and you feel how the strings react. One thing you're going to want to try to get used to is having a standard tuned guitar that's set up and playing like you wanted to play, but hearing this, it's kind of a strange effect. I mean, it's a, it's a cool sound, but it might take you a couple of minutes to get used to because, um, you know, most people know when I, when I detune my guitar, it feels completely different. Well, in this case, it doesn't. And at first, it might feel kind of eerie, but um, it's a really cool, it's easy to get used to. and. Uh, and it just increases so many limitations. I use this pedal um, all the time in my cover band. We play songs, obviously, that are two and a half step down, or some that are in, um, you know, a whole step down, and some that are in standard. I go up with a standard tune guitar, and I'd, I play the same guitar all night. Now, let's go, we can keep going down through these effects. You can go all the way down to seven down, seven half steps down. And then we have the octave. Now, when you get to the octave, it almost sounds like a bass. You know, so it almost sounds like a dis this is going to sound kind of like a distorted bass effect. Um, um, and it's, you know, obviously on the, the guitar, it's hard to get that kind of thing to sound natural. But I think they do a pretty good job of, of uh, creating a pretty cool sound with it. So here we go. Now, one of my favorite ones is the last setting, which takes that octave down signal and adds it to your original signal. And it almost has a, it's, it's a cool octave effect, like you'd get in some Hendrix stuff. Okay, so when this is engaged, this is the up button. So let's say this, let's say the, the pedal is off. You can go down and up and choose your preset, basically. This is the up button and this is the down. However, when you engage the pedal and you turn it on, this middle up button turns into a toggle button. What that is basically gonna do is it's going to, when you push the pedal down, obviously it's easier to do with your foot, it takes effect out and then when you release it, the effect comes back in. So that allows you to do some, um, kind of fancy stuff. I can't really do it with a, you know, what if you don't have your foot involved with it. So let's say, let's go down to the octaves thing. And you can do stuff like this. You can go. So you can see how that's going up. Obviously it sounds, it's a lot easier to do and cooler to time out when you can actually push it with your, your foot. But this is a very sturdy chassis. It's a metal uh, chassis, really built, built well, really solid pedals. And there's really nothing that can go wrong with it. It has an input selector in the back, so uh, device in the back, so you can really get your, um, your level set for, for your particular guitar well. And that's about it. That's really the only thing you have to mess with. And you go straight to guitar in, then straight out to your amp. And it also works great with a clean sound. So let's, uh, let's hear it on some clean stuff get my everything set up here. So here's what the amp, the, the, the clean sound sounds like by itself. And then I'll engage the pedal. This one is now a ha set for a half step down. All right, 
right? And then you can just keep going down. And this is great for some of those like jazz guitar players that like to use deeper, vo lower voicings on the or, or tunings on the guitar, uh, but not necessarily want to have uh, their guitar set up for that, which makes it sometimes a lot less playable. So. <clears throat> So you can even have songs where you change tunings in the middle of the song. So it's a great little unit and um, just enter the contest and see if, uh, if you can uh, get this little puppy in your hands. It's a, it's a great little thing that you can, any, any player can use it, guitar teachers can use it when, they're, when they have students who want to learn songs that are in different tunings, they just hit a button and their guitar, they can sit down and figure out the song and that tuning or you're playing out, you're playing covers, you're playing your own music and it's in different tunings. It's a really nice way of having a very uh, kind of a stable setup without having to buy about you know five different guitars to get into the sounds that you want. So in this case, the pedal is a steal when it comes to that. All right. So this is the Morpheus Drop Tune demo, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please comment and uh, join the contest. And well, it's not really a contest; it's really just a giveaway. All right. And uh, good luck. Bye bye.